Hey guys, it's Sandy P. Um, I went to Walmart today. I just had to get away. And when you see my Walmart haul, you will see it's a comfort food. It's a, she just needed something. Um, I think I'm overwhelmed with everything going on right now. The past couple days have been kind of difficult. Um, someone told me that the full moon also would be affecting it. But, um, past two days, September 1st was the anniversary of one of my classmates' death. Um, passed away four years ago, way too young. We were friends from before kindergarten till after we graduated. We kept in contact on Facebook. He lived in a different state. We, when we both graduated, we both moved to different sides of the country. Um, he got married, had a family, I got married. Uh, Frank and him became Facebook friends and they um, did fantasy sports leagues together. I had always wanted them to meet, so I know in heaven they've met. And yesterday was um, the ninth anniversary of my dad passing, so. Past two days, those two things, and then people said the full moon too. But, so I went to um, Walmart. My goal for this long weekend, I need to get enough packing done today and tomorrow. I might push it into Saturday. And if I can, I'm gonna treat myself and do something fun. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but Sunday or Monday, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna do something. I don't know. Okay, I want to show you a couple things before I get to my Walmart haul. Okay, this is a book that I had found online. Okay, I have a tissue for a bookmark because I didn't have a bookmark when I started reading it. This was in um, because you guys know I'm from a small town in Nebraska, and there are a couple Facebook groups um, concerning Nebraska. One shows like. People take pictures from around Nebraska. Another one is from, I'm in a small town you've never heard of. And that's basically where I'm from. Um, but this book, Barbed Wire Runs Through It, a country crime series. And it's by Stephen J. Kinnick. At least that's how my family pronounced it. Some people pronounced it Koenig. My family pronounced it Kinnick. That was my mom's maiden name. Okay, so first off. The author, just seeing that author's name, got my attention. And then, um, I'm just going to read, you know, this little blurb back here. I don't know if I told you guys about this or not. Um, but this story is a glimpse of the rural life in 1976, Holt County, Nebraska. Joe Bauer, a dyslexic 12-year-old boy, watched a dust devil of activities take place around his family's failing car cattle ranch. Surrounded by interesting characters, his hardworking mother, his range detective father, a county sheriff, a local priest, a worshiper of Satan, he witnessed the presence of evil and nearly died twice. In the end, it would be one of the best times of his life. Okay, and then it talks a little bit about the author. Okay. And it says, Steve Kinnick was raised on a farm in Holt County, Nebraska. He has worked as an insurance and private investigator for the last 30 years. So I bought this book. I found it on Amazon um, because of the author's name and also because it's set in Nebraska, rural Nebraska. I just started it the other night, and I'm on page 50. Pretty good so far. Okay, and then I want to show you one other thing. Um, I went to a farmer's market with some friends on Saturday. And they had a representative there who was selling Color Street, which are the nail strips that I sell. Okay. The only thing is we have sports overlays. And I can't, they're not in stock right now. And, you know, you have to search around for anybody who has them. So, someone there was selling these and they had the football ones. It's called Sunday Punt Day. I have a special friend I'm going to be sending these to. Um because I have been looking for football ones, baseball, I still have, um, my baseball ones I have sold or given to people or used myself, they have hockey, which I want to find, they have soccer I want to find, and they have basketball, which I want to find, I want to find all the sports ones, I wish I had swimming ones, okay, those are the two non-things, so now, four and a half minutes into it, I'm going to my Walmart haul, I apologize, okay, remember, this was like a, Sandra needed snack food, she in a weird type of a mood or whatever. So, I got grapes. These were actually on sale for $2.11. And there are 10 ounces. They're the, um, ow, that hurt. 
They're the red grapes. The use by date is tomorrow, which would be no problem because I'll probably snack on them all day today. Okay. These. The mini peanut butter fudge no bake cookies. I know, you can make these. My mom made these all the time. My friend made these and brought them to my mom's um, viewing because the first time she ever had them was when my mom made them. But I really don't feel like making them. And so I bought those. This I've never seen before. It's a chocolate payday. King size one, so I got that. This is a comfort food. It's a Cheddar Little Smokies, the Hillshire Farms. You get um, 13 ounces. See, they have the cheese in them. In Nebraska, they had some. They were Wimmers. I don't think they're made by the same company anymore the same way, but I grew up with those. Okay, I just got some cheese, just some American singles. Um, this, there's 24 slices here, 16 ounces. I got that and I think of bar s ham is 16 ounces so I can make some sandwiches I can make a grilled ham and cheese with that I got I love this Milo's iced tea this is a zero calorie sweet tea 20 ounces it's less than a dollar for that okay and then this I had never seen before it is crushed but it's grapefruit so I'm assuming this is probably going to taste like squirt or fresca okay so let me put these back in this bag because that was my cold bag <sighs> just have ever have one of those days where I don't know I did go there with the intention of there were a couple things I needed to buy I wanted to buy some more kitty litter. And this is, provides 28 days of freshness. So this should probably last until I move. Um, but this is a lightweight scoopable. It's six pounds, no, 8.5 pounds. So I just got this. And the other thing I wanted to buy is in this bag. Okay. I wanna see if this works. I got a memory foam cushion cruiser seat pad for my bicycle because my bicycle seat, um, Harper, when he was a kitten, he's still a kitten, used it and has shredded the whole thing up. So this has it where it will, it should just slip right over the seat and then it'll, you can tie it to tighten it. Um, it's soft and if this doesn't work, I ask them and I, I can return it. Because I have ordered, I ordered a whole new seat, but I ordered it, um, you know, online somewhere over a month ago when it still hasn't come. There's no tracking for it or anything yet. Um, I should have just gone to Walmart or Target and bought one. But it was $10 cheaper to order it online than Walmart or Target. And this was like $19, which was um, cheaper than buying the seat. So I'll try that, see if that works. Okay. And then, <laughs> I just needed to get some more um, Ziploc bags. These are the Freezer Guard double zipper bags. There's 25 quart size. Um, okay. These um, Clear American Drinks. I had never seen this one before. There's a couple I've never seen. It's vanilla and cream. That's got to be good. And this is 12 ounces, um, and no, 30, 33.8 ounces. And there's zero calories. Oh, that's what, zero calories per 12 ounce serving. So I got that one. And then I had also never seen this one either. Cotton candy. Thought that might be good. And then my favorite of all these, maybe not my favorite, but I've always had it is the white grape. So I got that. I got those three. I got, see, I'm telling you, it's comfort food time. I got two cans of the SpaghettiOs or the spaghetti rings pasta with meatballs, the 
um, great value brand. This is 15 ounces. I got two of those comfort food. And, ow, I dropped the can on my foot. Tried to put it back in the bag, and I missed. Okay. And then for the cats, I got the Sheba Pates. I'm sorry. This one is savory chicken entree, and this one is roasted turkey entree. When I take them outside, I can just, you know, break these apart, open them up, and then um, put it in their bowls so they can each have one. So this will two outside trips. Okay, then I have one last bag, so let me put these back in here. So I don't drop it on my feet again. Okay. I got a loaf of bread. Since I had that um, ham and cheese. I can make ham and cheese sandwiches. Okay. And I've gotten to the point where when, lately, you know, when I go and eat cereal for breakfast, I don't know if it's the anxiety or what's going on, but the cereal just doesn't... Cereal is not making me feel good in the morning. So I decided to try these. It's a cherry cheese danishes. Individually wrapped. You get six of them. And they were three dollars. They have a, a variety of things like that. Um, this I had never seen before. I, I like, you know, ramen noodles and stuff, and this is the instant lunch, and it, but it's the cheddar cheese flavor. I've never seen the cheddar cheese one before. Another simple comfort food there. Um, at the register, they have their little packs of cookies. I think there's three in here. Yeah, and it's only a dollar, so you get three cookies there. I got the decadent chocolate chunk. I used to, for Frank, get the um, white chocolate macadamia nut because that was his favorite. Okay, and then I saw these Lucky Charms marshmallows. These are just like marshmallows. I wonder if they're flavored. Magically delicious marshmallows. I'm assuming they're probably just marshmallow flavored, but they're like the Lucky Charms. I thought that was kind of cute. Um, I have somebody... My mask making has sort of taken a back seat um, to packing my life. But I have somebody I still need to get um, cat masks to them. So I just got another thing of um, another fat quarter of cat material. Walmart has, at least the Walmart near me, has restocked a lot of their fat quarters. Okay. And then this. Never seen this before. Duncan Hines. Um, mega cookie chocolate chunk pan cookie mix and it comes with a six inch pan and you just need to add two tablespoons of water and three tablespoons of butter melted you can do it in the um, oven or you can do it it says microwave hmm. so I'll try that out and next to that, they had these, the no-bake cookie dough bites. I'd never seen these before either. And this you need um, three quarters, a third cup cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter. And you, I guess you just mix it up, stir it, shape it. Um, and then there's topping and there's like the chocolate drizzle topping. So I thought that was cool. And then the last thing I got, as I was getting ready to pay, I walked through and they have, um, you know how Walmart sometimes has those front bins in front of the registers? Well, they had um, masks. This is a five-piece set. It was like $14, I think. Oh, $14.97. But look at what the masks are. There's football, basketball, baseball, soccer, and... I don't know if there's a hockey puck on there or if that's just a black mask. That might just be a black mask. But, yeah, just a black mask. But you get five masks. Okay, I'm going to try one on. If I can get it open. They had um, a lot of, they had a variety of them. 
They're washable, reusable. One size fits most adults for non-medical use only. Yeah, because you wouldn't want your doctor showing up with this. Okay, let me try the baseball one, because that will be the one that I will wear. Mainly. Let's cut the elastic. We're going to see. Oh, they're not bad. They're actually not bad. Um, they're not pulling on my ears. They fit below the chin. They go up above the, the um, nose for the glasses. So these actually aren't too bad. And they're, they're like double layered. But they're not too bad. So I got more masks. Um, like I said, I'm move, where I'm moving to, their numbers aren't as good as they are in Arizona. Um, Arizona has taken this seriously and we've knocked it down. Where I'm moving to, it's creeping up. And Maryland, where I want to go to, um, the numbers aren't as good as Arizona either. So, <laughs> I should just do my whole thing with a mask on one time. Okay, I take it off. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, you know, can you keep some positive thoughts for me? Because this whole move and packing up my life is sort of sort of taking its toll on me now. Um, I already have anxiety. And um, it's been increased. And there's just, you know, stuff going on. Um, people saying stuff, which is really upsetting me. People doing stuff. Um, yeah. So just keep positive thoughts. Hope you all having a great day. Stay safe. Stay sane. Um, enjoy your long weekend. Love you all. And I will talk to you whenever I have something else to say. Bye.